Millet's Angelus has such an air of peace, it seems almost wrong to talk over it, to dispel that stillness of prayer. The day is ending. The business of digging, reaping, bending, picking is over, and finally the laborers have stopped. The pitchfork is set aside, the wheelbarrow rests on its handles, only the basket containing the fruit of the day's work remains planted between the man and the woman. The dusk seems heavy, dark shadows spread along the ground, turning the gold and green tints of the day into the dense violet of night. In the distance, through the haze of the encroaching evening, The church steeple rises tall and pointed above the squat mounds of hay in the intervening field. The bell for Angelus has rung, and its sound carried out of the village, across the field, to find the peasants who greet the sound with the silence of prayer. Jean Millet grew up amid moments like these. Son of a pious family of farmers in Normandy, he too labored in the fields until local priests taught him to read Latin poetry and prose, and his father encouraged him to paint. Millet claimed that the inspiration for this 1857 painting came from the memory of his grandmother who, quote, hearing the church bell ringing while we were working in the fields, always made us stop work to say the Angelus prayer for the poor departed, end quote. He studied in Paris, but fled the unrest of riots and the disdain of the academy to return to his roots, literally, painting agricultural laborers near the forest of Fontainebleau, where he would found the Barbizon School. As a result of his choices, Millet endured poverty, hardship, and rejection. But he maintained suffering and work conferred both nobility and dignity on humanity. I have no wish to suppress sorrow, he said. It is sorrow that gives the most strength to an artist's utterance. His figures are monumental against the landscape, their strong bodies not bowed by toil, but by recollection and prayer. The basket of potatoes lies between them. Perhaps they are giving thanks for this meager harvest. At the insistence of Salvador Dali, the Louvre x-rayed this painting and discovered that the basket of potatoes had originally been painted as a box, perhaps the coffin of a small child. Although it was covered over by the artist, this element would explain the solemnity of the scene. Two people praying for the dead, bowed in the twilight, amid the anguish and toil of life, yet with a sense of forbearance drawn from faith. Millet said, It is not always the joyous side that shows itself to me. The greatest happiness I know is calm and silence.